Hello America, I'm Joker from Ace of Base. Hello everybody, I am Lin. Cha, I'm Buddha. And I'm the fourth member of Ace of Base, Jenny. Ace of Base to me is a perfect combination of uh, pleasure and work. Say something in the camera. Something in the camera? Yeah, she said something in the camera. Me and my sister have played together for a lot of years, eight years, something. And um, then we, I knew Ulf before and we shared the same rehearsal room, you could say. So then we produ start producing some black guys, me and him, and we worked good together. And then we, the four of us, uh, formed Ace of Base. We were working in the studio for, let's say, one year before we even thought about to, to, um, to play some. the music somewhere. All that she wants, um, uh, I realize now, is about uh, a girl that I knew a long time ago, but I didn't know when I did the lyrics. Do you remember that night when we got mm. out of the studio and it was finished? Mm. Yeah. We stopped the car right. there nearby the Stockholm. water That's and crazy. just just opened the doors and uh, put all that she wants out really loud into the summer night. Mm. And we got away from the car and just stood there and watched the car like a big uh, loudspeaker. So great. And we knew that we had made a hit. That was remember magic. That? Mm. I, I, yeah. think, I think we listened to it 20 times or mm. something. Just listen to it. Mm. This is so good. This is perfect. Oh, we had to have a video. But we have no, we had no great budget for that. We had no time. We had no time and no budget. So, <laughs> so I wonder when great, we did it. Great, great. Um, and uh, there was this very strange and odd woman who's acting in the video as well. And the clothes she had, they were from, I don't know, from the Charleston period. So we were in her home, sitting in her windows, at a, in playing at her old piano. It was, it was made in one day. The video just. It's also the video is also explanation for the for the song because in the song you don't know if if she found a guy or not but this is a happy ending in this uh, video. To be in a band with your sisters, it's um, and for uh -huh. her. You better say something brother. good now. Let me uh, and say something good now. Uh -huh. The biggest uh, advantage is that you can be very straight to each other. You don't have to go uh, mingle around and go around. You can take the shortest way. Bad, you know. But and you can be honest. Yeah, you can be honest. Yeah. It's very good. And uh, the the bad point is that um, if Marlin gets mad of me, she can touch a little spot, and I get ah, because she knows me too well. I know the weak Pretty. points. Pretty, yeah. She pushed them hard when she likes to. But I, I think that everybody that has a have a brother or a sister know exactly what it is. The first thing I ever heard was probably my mother and my father playing together. Mother at the piano and my father with a flute or some kind of instrument that he was like jumping around to and playing. And uh, I remember I always thought that it was so fantastic to cry, like lie on the carpet and cry. I, I was about four years old at that time, so I mean, it's okay. Um, cry like, um, it was a beautiful, it was like a movie when I, you cried and cried and the tears were running and, and this music was behind you. That was beautiful. My favorite kind of music is not jazz, not grunge, not punk, but disco. Somewhere between. Yeah. <laughs> Somewhere between. Like I like classical music and uh, disco music that you can dance to. Mm. But I guess we grew up with um, we're the ABBA generation in Sweden. We used to play like I used to fight with other blonde girls about seeing being Agneta. She was unafraid. And we were playing with our friends, like kids, right? You know, in front of a mirror and... And after that, I guess I was 16, I was in love with Michael Jackson, totally. I had those Scandicore posters on the wall, huge posters. And I couldn't change clothes in the room. I had to go into the wardrobe because he could see me. Dangerous. She was 16. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, no, I was 14, 15. Yeah. My background is... Uh, my father bought me a computer, a Commodore 20, in 1982. But in my first program was a music program, so I started to make music on the computer. And then I got a computer 64, and then the MIDI came, and then I started to buy some synthesizers. And I learned um, myself, totally, 
Burgundies have more um, musical background in a way because they live with music the whole life. I have a totally another uh, background. I learn myself, and um, the combination that is a bass. The sign is about um, thinking back of an uh, old relation that we have had, and uh, everything wasn't good about it. Everything wasn't bad about it, but something. I left that uh, I left that part open to the listener because it then it can mean something to everyone. But the sign is always um, is like you go on the road of life. Wow, I'm going to be a poet. Don't you think? He does. He doesn't know what a poet is. Sorry, very sorry for that. But um, it's about um, you see signs in your life, and that's why you change direction. The sound we have, I haven't heard it anywhere else. I don't think that we picked picked it in a hole from somewhere, like in the wholeness, what do you call it, fully from somewhere. But uh, I think that we have little of everything in it. We took what we thought was the best thing in reggae, the melodies and the rhythm and the, and the harmonies in it. And our, the best thing we thought in music overall, and that was electronic, more, um, what do you call it? Yeah, the electronic beat, basses and everything. We're doing everything on computers, but we are sampling saxophones, trumpets, but we're using computers and, 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 uh, and keyboards the whole time. That's making our sound. And uh, the combination there is, is was quite unique. Uh, I know that in the States at least, you have one huge rock scene and you have one huge hip hop rap scene. And we are sort of in between that. Right? I mean, we have no guitars like the rockers, and we don't rap, really. Like, somebody jump, jumping around saying things in a cool way. We can't do that straight, so... But we try. So we're sort of in between. More sticking to the music and the melodies. The music. I think you need that, because you have so much music in America that it's just like... Whoa, whoa! You know, and they take that ten times in a row, and that's the sample. It can be very good, but we don't do that. So, maybe you need our music. I'm gonna be strong, I'm gonna define Don't worry about this heart of mine Oh God, let me see if I can go on and go But don't turn around Cause you're gonna see my heart break Don't turn around I don't want you seeing me cry Just walk away Just tell me about that you're leaving I'm letting you go Don't Turn Around, it's on our album The Sign and um, it is a cover, the first cover that we made, like a record and um, it is about uh, letting a love go that has went away from you, you didn't want it to go and it is like please don't ask me to come back because I wouldn't stand, I couldn't stand that, I can't stand that you're going but I can't stand that, don't turn around. Living in danger is about um, living on your own, <laughs> in a way. Uh, don't trust too much people. You should you do better on your own, in a way. People are like uh, telling us that come on, come on, drink alcohol, smoke, do whatever you want, but it's dangerous. So high, no one can reach that high, no I know you get satisfied today. We never get enough. I see lies in the eyes of a stranger. Whoa, you believe in danger. I see lies in the eyes of a stranger. Whoa, you believe in danger. I see lies in the eyes. Reality in this time, we have uh, too much. Everybody talking about how bad everything is, and to solve bad things, I think things. It's, I think it's uh, best thing is to see 
positive on it. Then you can have some uh, distance to it and maybe see the real problem. Sometimes um, during a day or so, I can feel when I heard, for example, when I'm here or in Germany, like I can get for 10 seconds that feeling when the hair is really rising, you see what I mean? Then, whoa, I'm a star, but then that feeling disappears. You only feel shortly that, wow, mm. you know, the good feeling. You can read about Ace of Base and it's so huge, and then, but you can't feel, I'm in Ace of Base too. Uh, it's, you have some very weird distance to it, actually. My biggest hobby is to do music, and um, when you can combine it to be your work in the same time, it's perfect. This is a great opportunity for me to do what I can do, what I, well, I, I like to sing, and I would like to sing for the world forever. Celebrity, what's that? That's when you go in a limo to see your friends. <laughs> and I don't, I really don't, I take a bike. To be number five, number six here in the US, it's so big and so uh, out of sight. I think we need a few years to sit, sit down and think about it. So ask and us again when we're 80. <laughs> even though it's a, uh, a lot of pressure, a lot of um, <coughs> people involved and so on, but I think we are handling it quite okay.